Joan Mitchell was such a strong painter from the very beginning. This period of Mitchell's work in the early 60s, she is exploring and navigating a whole different method and range of paint application from throwing paint on the canvas to squeezing paint directly onto the canvas. A lot of these paintings seem to revolve around a conflict between two primary areas of activity, and you certainly see that in Noel. Joan Mitchell painted Noel in Paris at a very emotional time. She had just learned that her mother was diagnosed with cancer. She was in a very intense personal relationship. And in many ways, a lot of the, the feelings and angst she was going through were played out in many of the canvases that she did at this time. There is a vigor and an expressiveness uh, in the way that this painting and other paintings from this period are created that does give them, you know, their storms. I think that Noel really does sparkle with the chromatic contrast between this sort of hot, bright, orangey red and the whole range of greens. And that certainly characterizes this painting, that idea of the conflict. In the 1980s, Joan Mitchell was represented by Xavier Fourcade Gallery, one of the top galleries in New York, and they specialized in abstract painting. In 1985, they had a major exhibition of Joan Mitchell paintings from the 1960s, and Noel was featured in that exhibition. This group of paintings, they had never been seen in New York before. They'd been exhibited only once previously. They were put in storage and remained out of sight for the following 20 years. It just becomes this remarkable time capsule. And the show was very well received and several of the paintings were sold. There were only three of them left out of the group. Joan was never not aware of the reality that her gender, her identity as a woman, put her in a category that she bridled against, that she worked to not allow to limit her. She might stand in front of a painting, nudge a companion and say, not bad for a lady painter. She pointed these arrows at herself in order to make it very clear that no one else had any right to say these things about her. I feel strongly that one of the reasons that Joan Mitchell's work is increasingly recognized, increasingly held in high regard, is because her goal for her paintings was that a painting should be a repository that reflects some aspect of lived experience. So that like a great poem or a Shakespeare sonnet or a great piece of musical composition, you know, the greatest of them are never dated. They're alive in front of our eyes.